very important. I really want you guys to handle this grammar. Noni and node. You know, if you use these two opposite like grammar, then it's gonna become really, you know, that helps you to understand, you know, you can see the both sides, opposite side. It's very easy, yes. Ex you know, explain, like, practice, yeah. I think I've heard it a lot as well, yeah. Mm. Mm. And uh, that was, this one is also very good. Um, yeah, hasami wo kiru no ni You know, even if the same sounds just align in one, you know, like each other, it doesn't mean that's a grammar. And that's the kind of Japanese um, particles challenging part. You actually, you see no and uh, like no ni as I said, then that's confuse you. It might be better like, you know, no is this job and mo is this job. And wow. yeah, this one is different. That's why we picked today and practice. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and regarding this noni, actually in the JLPT N2, they have this um, phrase, no ni mo kakawarazu. No ni mo kakawarazu. You may feel like it's too early for you to understand, but for us, no, ni mo kakawarazu is completely same, you know, phrase. <laughs> like, you know, like, no ni is just a short version of no, ni mo kakawarazu. So the kakawaru is relation. So, you know, two elements, you know, two incidents relation, just they are trying to describe. And just in an easy sentence, we just omit kakawarazu part. So. <laughs> Wow. I re yeah, highly recommend you just take it as this grammar. No ni, no ni mo kakawarazu. And no de is opposite. No de is nda, explanatory, which means, you know, connecting uh, cause and results. Yes. Hi, shizuma nai desu ka? Kyo wa kore de wari 